Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see a good example where end user want to highlight the maximum sales and minimum sales in a bar chart by different color. This is the sample application I have created and the data is the same data which we have used previously and few of our application. This data you can download and the link is given in the description. So we have sales data where we have order, product, category, customer and at the same time I have created master calendar based on order date. So you can see the data model, it's very simple and enough for our this example. Front end, we need a bar chart by month here and our requirement is we need to highlight the bar having maximum sales with a green color and the bar having minimum sales by red color and rest of the bar will have the same color. So first of all, before creating a bar chart, I will create a table and say we want this by our month year and I will use sum of sales as my expression. So my objective is to find out month year having maximum sales, month year having minimum sales and then give the color of that bar green and red accordingly. So if I will sort this table by sum of sales descending order then March 2022 is having maximum sales while December 2021 is having minimum sales. So I need to first find out the maximum sales value and the minimum sales value. Because we know that we have to first find out minimum and maximum sales by month year. Here I am using the word by month year that means we have to use agar function here. So sum of sales and I will say agar by month year. So what this expression will create? This expression will create a virtual table where dimension equal to month year and expression equal to sum of sales. But this table is not visible because we have used aggregation function and aggreg aggregation function is creating virtual table in inside the memory. So I want max of this table so it will give me maximum sales of this table. But if I will use simply like this, I am not going to get any answer. Because in previous video, I will give you the video number because in my video number 36 and 37, I have given you examples in very detail that what is aggregation scope and what are the things which will affect the aggregation scope. And in that example, we have used total qualifier. So what total qualifier will do? So it will ignore the dimension. So once we use max, that means it will give you maximum from that virtual table. So the virtual table will be similar like this, month year and sales. And then we will get maximum of that measure. Here measure is sum of sales so we are getting maximum sum of sales which is 25,101 and at the same time if I will duplicate this expression and if I will say min then I am getting 5092. So using this now I can write something like this. I will duplicate this expression and here I will say if my sum of sales equal to this then 1 or 0 or even I can simply remove if and I can say sum of sales equal to my maximum value then it will give me minus 1 or 0. So wherever it is true it will give you minus 1 and at the same time if I will duplicate this one and I will say mean instead of max I will get this answer minus 1 here. So now I will simply copy one of this and what I will do, I will create a bar chart. So in a bar chart, I will use month year 
as my dimension and sum of sales as my expression. This bar chart is automatically sorted by sum of sales. So I will change the sorting order and I will sort by month here. And inside the appearance, color and legend, I will do the custom color by expression and I will use the expression which I have copied and I will say if sum of sales equal to minimum sum of sales then I will say red color if it is maximum then green color otherwise light gray or light blue and now I will get the answer. I am sorry the color light blue color is not good for our chart but just for demonstrating this example I have used light blue and of course you can change the number format and you can also show your numbers here So hope you like this video where we have used aggregation and total qualifier to find out the minimum and maximum value. We have colored the bar having the maximum value and minimum value. Thanks and have a great day.